Hello, Hot Springs School District. My name is Dudley Webb III, fifth grade literacy teacher at Hot Springs Intermediate School and also Teacher of the Year for the Hot Springs School District. I want you all to know that I feel very humbled to hold this honor for our district and I vow to make you, all of the administrators, the students, and the community of Hot Springs proud to have me as a face for the Trojans. I also know there are many of you who, like me, put forth lots of attention and care into ensuring the best quality of education for our students and I hope that you continue to carry on that great educator spirit throughout your teaching career. In my eyes, you're all teachers of the year as well. I'm here today to motivate you, to inspire you, and to urge you to begin this new school year with the highest of positive spirits. In all honesty, prior to teaching, I was prepared to enter law enforcement, be a police officer and, and take it from there. And then all changed in 2009 when Dr. McLean, who then was the political science department chair, offered a graduate assistant position to me under the guidance of Dr. Lofton, who was a political science professor. This was all at Arkansas State University. I accepted it, and that opportunity allowed me the distinct honor of teaching about four foreign politics classes a month. I knew the first minute of the first class that I stepped foot into that teaching was a calling for me. God was telling me that day, son, this is exactly what I want you to do with your life. That first day, as soon as I started speaking, the students were listening to me with all their might. They had the best on-topic questions to ask, and I delivered what I would hoped to be great answers to their questions. And that rapport continued throughout my graduate assistant experience. Later on, I left ASU with the bachelor's in criminology, a master's in public administration, but more importantly, I left ASU with a vision, and that vision was teaching. I later obtained a master's degree in teaching at Henderson State University, spent one year teaching at Pine Bluff, and am now entering my fifth year here with the Hot Springs School District. And I promise you, six long yet progressive years into my teaching career, that vision still remains ever so present in my mind. So now, I want to give you that same question. Who or what inspired you to begin your teaching career? Was it one person? Was it a multitude of people? Was it one particular event? Was it several events that led to your decision to become a teacher? Whoever it was, or whatever it was, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you know the answer to that question. And I want you to think about that. You should never forget it. You should always remember that vision. Always. It's because of that person or those people or that particular event or those events that we're all leaders for students in the classroom, at football games, at church, at different community events, at a restaurant, anywhere and everywhere we go. That vision follows us and in turn reaches our students. I don't know the answer to every question. I can find out. However, there is one major factor that I do know, and I believe you do too. And that is, besides family, Besides loved ones, besides very close friends, there's one person in a student's life who has the potential to hold the key to every line of success that, that students can have. That person is me, that person is you, that person is all teachers all around the world. 
more importantly here, here in Hot Springs, Arkansas, here at the Hot Springs School District, Trojan Country, we're that person. We're that person with the key to every student's dream, to every student's opportunity, to every student's goal, to every student's everything. We want to make sure that at the end of each day, when we pass that key to that student, that their key opens whatever door it is that they choose to open. If it's lesson plans, pre and post assessments, summative projects, math problems, art designs, reading novels, learning activities, whatever the case may be, we've got to remember that vision. And we've got to give all students our very best. By so doing, their key can now unlock any and every door they choose to open. As we're preparing for this new school year, I ask that you reflect over your previous years of teaching. I ask that you consider any strategy, any learning activity, any project, any procedure, any educational practice for that matter that had success with your students. And if anything you implemented into your classroom worked well with students, I would encourage you to continue using that practice this new school year. If any educational practice that you tried but wasn't as successful with your students, maybe there's something you can do in order to get it fixed. Or perhaps you let it go in hopes to find something that is a better replacement. If you're a new teacher, I encourage you to visit with and collaborate with veteran teachers within your buildings so that you can best figure out a successful game plan for your first year in teaching. But above all, I want you all to remember your vision. Your vision is what enables a student's key the power to unlock any and every door they choose to open. If I can ever be of assistance to you, please don't hesitate to call me. Contact me through email, cell phone. I hope you all have a great 2017-2018 school year. Thank you and go Trojans!